Hi, you've made it to the second part of our three-part series called Excel for Teachers, which is about using Excel um, in an educational context to understand how students are doing and to help us improve our teaching and improve their performance. Let's take a look at what we've done so far. In the first video, uh, we created a, a VLOOKUP formula in this column, and that's allowed us to understand the difference between a target grade and an actual grade. So at a glance, this has given us a very, um, some nice simple analysis that's helping us to understand uh, how this cohort of students is doing. In this video, we're going to look at creating a drop-down menu to help us do quick data input, and also at creating some simple summary information at the top of the page. So we're going to focus on those two things. Let's get into it. So firstly, drop-down menus. Now for me, a drop-down menu was something that when I first learned it, I really felt I was getting into Excel and it helped impress uh, some of my friends and colleagues. So it might be the same for you. It's certainly worth learning and it's going to save you a lot of time with data input. So let's have a look at how to put together a simple drop-down menu. I'm going to have a go in cell G11 here. So first we select the cell where we want to put the drop-down menu in. Go to data at the top, across the data validation, and then we click on data validation. This brings up the data validation box. We've got various options here. The one we're looking at today is the list option. So we click on this arrow and come down to the list option and click there. Then Excel is going to ask us where our list is. So we have to have a list somewhere in Excel that we're going to reference for this drop-down menu. And the list we're going to use is the list that we created in the first video, which is our grades table. So we're going to go back to our grades table and just select the area or the range that contains what we want to appear in the list. And in this case, we want our grades to appear in the list. So I've just selected this area and then I can hit enter and I get back to the data validation box and just hit OK. Now you can see that there's a small arrow that has appeared by the cell and that's saying that there's a drop down menu available for this cell. We can just click on there and we can see our drop down menu is there. Really nice. It's going to save us some time. So let's try it uh, with an A and it's much easier uh, than using the keyboard. I've got a nice uh, shortcut that I use sometimes, which is rather than double clicking on the cell, remember it's good to move away from the mouse uh, if we can, we can use another shortcut, which is Alt and Down cursor. That's hold down the Alt key and just hit the Down cursor, and that also takes you into the menu. So rather than doing lots of mouse clicks, this is going to help you uh, use the keyboard and save some time that way. Okay, great. So we have our drop down menu there. I also want it to appear in the actual cell. And another little tip is rather than going through the whole drop down menu process, you can just copy this cell. So I'm using Control and C. And then I'm going to use Paste Special. So not normal paste, Paste Special. And if you hold down Control and Alt and then hit V, that's going to take you to the Paste Special menu. And then we're going to go down to Validation, hit Enter. And that's going to apply the same validation to this cell. So let's test that out again. We've got A, B, C, and D there. Okay, so that's looking good. And I'm going to just copy these two cells down. And as I copy them down, it will take the data validation settings down there too. So these two cells also have their data validation. Final step is just to copy up the VLOOKUP formulae like that. Um, we can see they're working well because the target and the actual grades are the same, which is giving us a zero. Okay, great. So that's drop down menus. Have a go yourself and hopefully it's going to save you some time. That's not all we're looking at in this video because I want to talk about summary information. Uh, you're probably often having conversations with your boss, people senior to, to you. And one thing I find when I'm talking to more senior people is that they just want to know the summary information. So in an educational context, they're not really interested in what individual students are doing so well. They want to know uh, the big picture. What's the whole class, the whole cohort doing? Uh, so it's important that we know how to generate this summary information. If we look in column F, I have an example here. I've created a figure for overall, achie overall achievement. I've counted the number of A to C grades and the number of uh, fail grades, so the number of Fs. For overall achievements, um, this is if we add all of our 
numbers up in this column, and they're the differences between the target and the actual grades, it's the number that we reach. So to demonstrate that, I'm going to go down here and just hit uh, Alt and Equals, which is another nice shortcut, Alt and Equals, and that's going to sum up uh, what's in this column. We, we can see that that ad adds up to minus 16. So we want to implement the same formula in the Assessment 2 column. So to do this, uh, Equals, Sum, Open Brackets, and then just select the area that you want to sum up and then close the bracket and hit enter. And that's, um, that formula is there. Now, if I wanted to find out the number of A to C grades, um, I would use a formula called count if. It's called count if because it's gonna count the number, of, the number of cells if they meet a certain condition. Let's have a look at how it works. So again, we start with equals and count if open brackets, then as usual, Excel gives us the prompt, so it's going to help us supply the correct information to create the formula. First, it's asking us for the range to look at. So the range we're looking at is the actual grades, because we want to count the number of uh, A-C grades. First, let's count the number of A's. So I've selected the range, going to hit the comma key, that moves us on to the next component of the formula. And I'm going to put uh, a in here in inverted com in speech marks rather. The speech marks are really important, don't forget them. And then just close the bracket. That tells me the number of A grades. And as we can see, uh, there's two A's, so this formula seems to be working well. So it's good so far, but I don't, don't just want to see the number of A grades, I want to see the number of A, B, and C grades. So to do that, we're going to copy and paste this part of the formula. Then back in the formula editor, we're going to just put a, a plus sign in there and then paste that part of the formula in three times. You can probably see what's going to happen here. And then the second day, I'm going to change to B. That's going to count the number of Bs. And the third day, I'm going to change to C. That's going to count the number of Cs. So hopefully, this is going to count the number of A's, the number of B's, and the number of C's in this column. So let's give it a go. So it's given me um, a value of six, so we can go down and count. So two B's, one, two, and, and a C, three, a B, four, A, that's number five, and another A, so that makes six. So that formula seems to be working well. So again, another really nice piece of uh, summary information. We've only got a small amount of data here, but if you're dealing with 100,000, 10,000 learners, that's gonna save you a huge amount of time. Okay, and we can do the same thing uh, with the number of fails. Um, but I'll let you work on that so the video doesn't get too long. Work on that yourself using the practice file. Remember in the first three sheets of the, of the practice file, you have the whole thing with all the formulae there ready to go. So I just want to copy these formulae across. So I'm going to use Control C and I'm going to use Paste Special again. So Alt and Control and V brings up the Paste Special dialog box. And then I'm going to go to Formulas, then do the same thing. Uh, one more time, just take in the, uh, the formulas, okay? And as we can see uh, from the overall achievement measure, we can see that gradually um, the student performance is improving through those assessment milestones. Okay, so that's it, that's drop down menus. They're gonna save you a lot of time and probably impress some of your colleagues. And then think about summary information, the count if formula, and how we can use that to really bring out uh, the key messages, if you like that are unlocked in the data. So that's the second part of this three-part series. I will see you in part three.